So let's go through and look at these cells in a bit more detail. So first there are the play cells. If we place an animal, this is a cartoon made by my colleague Julia Kukic. If we place an animal into a circular environment, we watch where it is using an overhead camera, uh, and we also register where it is when one of these play cells fired. What we see is for, by and large, this cell is silent over most of the environment, and it's only when the animal goes into the part of the environment which is preferred by that cell, its place field, that the cell fires. And so you can see all of these red dots are adding up. And it, what we typically use is a, 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 a heat map to represent the firing rate of the cells. So the heat map shows that this cell fires with a maximum firing rate of 7 hertz here uh, and, and successively lower rates as you move away from, from the center. And this is a typical type of way in which we represent these cells. If we look, and one thing that I should point out, is that if an animal runs around in an environment like this in an open field, it turns out that it doesn't make any difference which direction the uh, animal runs through the place field. If it runs north, the cell is happy to fire. If it runs south, it's equally happy to fire. It looks as though the cell is representing the location and not something about the sensory uh, uh, impressions that the animal is getting in that, in, in, in getting in that location. 